Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video. Today we are going to write a small program that will allow us to calculate the area and the circumference of a circle. We will use a dialog box first to allow the user to input data in the program and secondly we will use an output dialog box to display the results of the various calculations in our program. So let's begin. The first variable to declare will be the radius of the circle because we will find out that in order to determine the area or the circumference of a circle, you first need to know its radius. We will give it the type double. So let's write double radius. Next, we need to declare two variables the first one will be used to hold the value of the area of the circle and the second one will store the value of the circumference and both of them are going to be of type double as well so double area circle and double circumference so in mathematics the formula to get the area of a circle is equal to the radius of the circle to the power 2 multiplied by pi. So saying radius to the power 2 is the same as saying radius multiplied by radius. And pi is a known value in mathematics and it is equal to 3.14 or we can use a special Java class called the math class to get the value of pi. So I'm going to write the, uh, the formula to get the area of the circle. But I first need to write area circle ascendant statement. And now I'm going to write the formula to get the area. So that will be a radius multiplied by radius multiplied by pi so uh, but we said we're going to use a special java class called the math class so i'm going to write it, this expression math that pi so here i'm getting an error and it's saying that i need to initialize my radius so i'm just going to give it the value of zero so this is the formula to get the area of the circle. Now, the formula to get the circumference of the circle is equal to two multiplied by the radius multiplied by pi. But in mathematics, we also know that the diameter is equal to two multiplied by the radius. So it's the same thing if you wrote diameter multiplied by pi or you wrote 2 multiplied by the radius multiplied by pi. So we are going to write 2 multiplied by the radius because we already have our radius here and we're going to multiply it by pi. So we will still say math that pi. For the next step, if you can recall at the beginning of the video, I say that we will use dialog boxes to input and output values in our small program. Now, the first dialog box we are going to use will be for input. And we're going to choose to allow the user to input the radius of the circle from a dialog box. Now, here, we need to know that the show input dialog method is the method that allows the user to input values in a program using dialog boxes and that method returns a string value so that means that whatever the user will input through this method it is going to be taken as a string so that's why we have to declare a string variable and I will call that string variable input radius. And then after declaring the string variable, now I need to call my method. So when the method is going to execute, 
the value returned is going to be stored in input radius. So now the method that will be j option pane that show input dialog. In here, I'm going to write what is the radius of the circle? Question mark. Once this is done, we need to convert the string value stored in input radius into an actual number. And we are going to store the result of that conversion in the variable radius that we have here. So now I need to write radius assignment statement since radius is of type double so i will write double that pass double so that means that our string value stored in input radius is going to be converted into a number of type double so as the argument here i'm going to pass input radius so that's it now we have to output or display the values such as the area the radius the circumference all at once on an output dialog box and for that matter we are going to use the show message dialog method but in the show message dialog method we can only pass one variable as the message string expression. To solve this problem, we will have to declare a string variable that will help us to display the various values at once. And I will choose to call that string variable output underscore result. So what I'm going to, it's going to do is that from here, I will say output underscore result, assignment statement, and now I'm going to start typing my string values. So I will say this information of the circle, and like this, concatenation. I will say radius concatenation. Now I'm going to write the variable radius. Here I'll say meters concatenation. The second I'll say area. Now here I will write the variable area circle. Square meters concatenation, and the last one will be circumference. So, here my bad, it's output result. So, once this is done. The show message dialog method will look like this. So I will say J option pin that show message dialog. So the parent component is null. So the message here is representing the message to be outputted. So we want to output our string output result. So everything written in here is what we need to output. So we will just write the name of our variable by string variable output underscore result. And here we're going to write the title of our dialog box. And after we will just type one, this will determine the message type or the type of icon that will appear on the dialog box. So our code is complete. 
and has covered all the requirements. Now let's run this program and see what will happen. So now the input dialog box appears and as you can see we have what is the radius of the circle. I would type in a number, let's say 5 for example, and I will click on OK. As soon as I click on OK, the program will make all the calculations. It will calculate the area and the circumference. And after calculating, an output dialog box will appear and display the results of the calculations. So as you can see, here I have all the results of the calculations. I have the title, circle information, I have the message type or the icon and here I have the message which is output result. So this is the value stored in output result showing on the dialog box. So I have the information about the radius, the area and the circumference as we want it. So guys, this is a small exercise that can help you practice the motions we have learned so far in this Java series. So feel free to play around it and understand the various steps we used in solving the problem. So thanks for viewing. I hope this video was informative and please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Let's meet in the next video.